welcome to vlogmas day 10 i am back today i do have a christmas video um i'm not checking it out today even though i'm absolutely shattered i'm back so today's video i am going to give you some of my favorite elf on the shelf ideas if you do not know what elf on the shelf is first of all count yourself very very lucky um it's our first year doing it this year and it's a little bit tedious i have to say so Elf on the Shelf is basically this little guy, it's just a little creepy looking elf, he's got velcro hands so that you can like fasten his hands together basically to put him in all sorts of weird and wonderful positions, that sounds wrong. Basically what happens is on the 1st of December this little guy arrives and he will spend from the 1st of December up until the 24th of December causing as much mischief in your house as he possibly can. Usually the messier the better when your little one has gone to bed. Um, this little guy comes along and every night he moves into a different position doing something different and then when the little ones wake up in the morning, wow the elf has moved. Um, yeah, and the, the idea is basically that each night he flies back to Father Christmas, apparently, um, reports on whether the little boy or girl has been bad or good, and then he flies all the way back to your house um, and causes more mischief, ready for your little one to wake up in the morning and find out what he's done. Um, now, I have seen some amazing ideas online for this little good. Some of them are just so creative. I'm gonna um, just sit him up behind me for the video. Your dude, sit up there. That's basically what Elf on the Shelf is. Kids love it, it is so popular these days. Like I said, this is our first year doing it. I didn't bother last year because Amelia wasn't really old enough to understand or bother. Um, but I thought she'd really like it this year and so far she's loving it. She loves waking up in the morning and looking where the cheeky elf is as she calls him and finding out what he's done. Um, but I know a lot of parents do struggle sometimes, especially as it gets towards the end of um, the month for ideas on what to do with him. So I thought I'd just upload this little video with a few ideas. I'm going to include some that I've already done this year and some that I'm planning to do. So hopefully if you do have a little fella joining you this year um, and you're struggling for ideas, hopefully this will help you. The first night that the elf arrives is obviously the last day of November slash 1st of December morning. I put out Amelia's advent calendars. Calendars. She has two. She has a chocolate one and she has a storybook one. Um, so I put them all out, laid them all out nicely and she had a little elf on the shelf welcome letter thing. If you just type that into Google you can get up loads of different templates. Um, and then I just laid them all out with the little elf and she got up in the morning and it was like the elf had brought her advent calendars. Um, so yeah, that's that's a really easy like first day one. One of my favourite ideas so far that I've used on this little guy was um, last night and it kind of rolls over as well so it's like two nights so you don't have to think of anything to do for a night. <laughs> Basically what I did with him was I got one of Amelia's bowls, I got two eggs out of the fridge, just normal eggs stuck them in the bowl with the little elf like sat hugging the bowl and then I got a little tub of like edible glitter um, some people use sprinkles I didn't have any sprinkles so I just used edible glitter um, and then I wrote a little note that said sprinkle some of this magic dust onto these eggs to see a magic trick lots of love from Tinkerbell which is what her elf is called she's called him Tinkerbell um, so she got up that morning found the little note sprinkled a dust we left the eggs over like all that day and then when she went to bed that night I switched the eggs for to kinder eggs so that when she got up the morning after she thought that the elf's magic had made normal eggs into chocolate kinder eggs. Genius and it saves you from coming up with two nights to st like do something with the elf you can just come up with one because then the night after you just swap the eggs. Great, loved it. Amelia loved it because she got chocolate eggs and she now thinks she's magic. Although I am a little bit worried now that she's going to constantly want to take eggs out of the fridge to sprinkle glitter on them and think that they're just going to turn into kinder eggs every time. 
one of Amelia's favourites that we've done, and yes, it's one of the messier ones. I sat him on the edge of the sink upstairs in the bathroom, got a tube of toothpaste and squeezed it all over the sink, made a right mess, and then put the tube of toothpaste into the elf's arms and made it look like he'd squeezed all the toothpaste into the sink. Amelia loved it. Another couple of ideas that I've done with him, I've um, got a couple of Amelia's toys out. She's got a rocking horse and he spent a night sat on the rocking horse just having a whale of a time on there. Um, he's sat on one of her, she's got a little train that like moves around the room and it's got a carriage on the back where you can put little figures. He sat on the top of the train driving the train for the night. She loved it, she thought it was hilarious. They're just really simple ideas. I mean you can literally be as creative as you like with this. I've seen one online where people have actually gone to the extent of literally wrapping up in normal Christmas wrapping paper their entire kitchen like walls, cupboards, sink, fruit in the fruit bowl, literally everything and saying the elf had done it. Now don't get me wrong, great idea. I bet the kid absolutely loved it but that is not for me. I will not be doing that one because wow that that's just dedication. I am not spending hours and hours wrapping up my kitchen to then get up in the morning and be like hmm how am I gonna get the milk out of the fridge? Nah that, that's not happening in my house. <laughs> I mean if you want to do it then you know you do you you do that but nah that's one that we will not be doing. <laughs> Another idea that I am so excited to use, um, I've actually got the skittles ready for it, I'm so excited to do it because I've seen loads of people do it and it looks so good. Get a plate, apparently a white plate works the best. Get a packet of skittles, just normal skittles, put them around the plate in like one big circle, leave them there. Again, write a little note from the elf that says get your mummy to do this and watch a magic trick. And then when they get up the morning after, they'll read the note and it basically tells you to pour a little bit of now it says warm water where I've read it but I have read that some people have used cold and it's worked just as well but you pour a little bit of water into the middle of the plate just not soak it obviously just enough so that the water spreads to like just so it's just touching the skittles leave it for a minute or two and all the colours like bleed out of the skittles into the water and it makes a rainbow and it looks so good we have not done this one yet but I do have skittles ready and I am going to be doing it over the next few days and I'm so excited for it. Another idea that I've just seen today actually and I think it's a really really good idea but I'm not sure how you'd actually balance it. I'm going to have to work on that. But basically you get three regular sized toilet rolls, colour in with a black sharpie or a black felt tip colour in some buttons on the bottom two and then on the top one draw like a snowman's face stand your elf inside the bottom two toilet rolls and then with the top one kind of like tip it just so you can see your elf's little face and put his arms up like, like that so he's holding it up um, and then just write a little note saying do you want to build a snowman so cute but again I have not tried this one yet and I'm a little bit unsure as to how the little guy would hold up the toilet roll because his arms are not that strong um, but I think I might try that one see how it works out Another idea that I'm debating is wrapping up the kitchen door, not the whole kitchen, just the kitchen door, in just plain white paper, drawing Olaf, or as best I can Olaf, and then the little elf will leave a note saying, I know how much you love Olaf, so I've brought him to stay with you for the Christmas period. Now, the only issue with doing this is I have a cat that is eight months old and kittens love to scratch so I'm not sure how long the paper would last. Another idea that I am excited to do and I think I'm going to do this one tonight because Amelia's big at the moment on playing doctors and nurses. She's got a little doctor's kit. Um, I'm going to get out the stethoscope that's in there, put it like as best I can near the elf's ears and then get one of her teddy bears or something or a doll's and set it out so that it looks like the elf's listening to the teddy or doll's heartbeat. I think she's going to really, really like that one because I said she's really into doctors and nurses at the moment. Another one that I'm thinking of using is getting one of Amelia's little dolly tea sets out, setting out a few of her favourite toys around with like a cup and a saucer each and a plate 
and sit in the elf with them so it looks like they're having a little like dolly or teddy bear picnic i think that's a really cute idea another one is if you have if you have a tin of christmas chocolates like these or any kind of chocolate i guess it doesn't have to be a big old tin like that um but what i'm gonna do with that one is i'm gonna take the lid off it eat a few of the chocolates leave the empty wrappers lying around and then sit the elf in the tin or at the side of the tin smear a little bit of chocolate around his mouth and then scatter the empty wrappers around his feet and it'll look like he's been pinching the chocolates i think she's gonna find that one hilarious one that some people do i've seen quite a few people do it actually and i won't do this one because i think it's so mean um they actually take all the chocolates out of the kids advent calendars and say that the elf has eaten them I think that is so mean and I'd feel so bad then for the rest of Advent that my little girl had no chocolates left in her calendar so I will not be doing that one, that one's not for me but it's another idea if you feel like being a little bit mean I guess. There is one that I've seen, I'm not too sure how you do it, I'll have to look it up, I'm not sure if it's like a screensaver on YouTube that you can find but there is one that I've seen people do and it's basically a picture of an elf stuck in a TV screen and you just put it onto your TV, leave it overnight and then when your little boy or girl wakes up in the morning it's like the elf, there's like, there's like a little note on the screen as well and it's like the elf is saying help I've climbed into the TV and got stuck. But thinking about it I don't know if that would work on my TV because on my TV if it gets left on pause or something for a long time um, it just switches itself off, it goes into standby, so I don't think it would work because by the time she gets up in the morning it will have probably just gone to a black screen, although it may still be there when I turn it on, I don't know, I'll have to try that actually because she'd find that funny too. Another one I've used that is really really simple if like you've forgotten to move it or something and it's really late and you just don't want to be bothered. I got one of Amelia's books off her shelf and just sat the elf on the floor with the book open on its knee, boom, he was reading a book. I've also seen a couple of ideas online where you get a cheese grater and you can get either a carrot or a snowman teddy. With the carrot, you put the elf and like one of your little ones, other teddies, one either side holding the carrot, paint a little like scared face on the or draw a little scared face on the carrot put some grated carrot at the bottom and it makes it look like the grating the carrot and the carrot's like terrified. With the snowman one, same thing, but instead of putting grated carrot at the bottom, you put little mini marshmallows and it looks like the grating the snowman. Again, I I think this is more for older older children because you know that could terrify the little ones. It's a bit um it's a bit violent that one, but it's an idea. Another one that I'm thinking of using, which I think Amelia will find really fun because she, when the postman comes every day, she loves running to the front door. Oh, that's the elf gone. Thanks, cat. Can't even film a blooming video without the cat getting involved. Yeah, Amelia loves running to the door when the postman comes at the moment and getting all mummy's post and bringing it in and seeing what's in there. So I'm going to stick the little guy's hands into the put into the letterbox like this obviously on this side not outside because somebody will take your elf um but yeah i'm gonna stick his hands in the post box like that trap his hands in the post box poor little thing and just leave him dangling from the letterbox the only thing with this one is you would probably have to make sure that your little one finds him before the post comes because otherwise when your postman puts your post through the letterbox elf here is just gonna drop Another one is for you to get a little bowl of, you know the little mini chocolate milk balls? Chocolate malt balls are they called? Basically just little chocolate balls. Um, get a little bowl of those, stick the elf there with a little sign that says reindeer poop for sale. Genius, again. The final day of Elf on the Shelf is the 23rd slash 24th, because on the 24th obviously he flies on back to the North Pole because it's Christmas Day the day after and he's not needed to keep a watch anymore. So on that night what I am planning to do is Amelia has a Christmas Eve box every year filled with like lots of goodies for Christmas Eve. She has new Christmas Eve pyjamas, I'm thinking of putting a bath bomb in there, um, Christmassy DVD, Christmas book to read on Christmas Eve at bedtime, 
few little chocolate treats, stuff like that. So I'm gonna just set him out and leave him, leave her a little note, just saying like he's had so much fun, blah blah blah. Thank you for having him. He'll be back next year to enjoy this Christmas Eve box. So that's a really simple one for the end of it. I hope you have found this useful if you are doing Elf on a Shelf this year. I know I am struggle sometimes for ideas. Um, so videos like this, I'm always watching to try and get a few um, new creative ideas from it. So I hope you have found it useful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below as well and let me know if you're doing Elf on the Shelf with your little ones and if you have done or have any ideas for your Elf that I've not mentioned in this video, leave those down below as well and I might pinch a few to do with my Elf. Don't know what just happened to the tripod just there. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been useful for some of you. Please give it a big thumbs up as I've said. Hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you tomorrow for day 11. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.